For this tip, we'll be looking at using a linear sketch pattern for a 2D sketch. You can start by going to Tools, Sketch Tools, Linear Pattern, or you can select the icon on the toolbar. By default, the X and Y axis are selected for the two directions. You can also select an edge, or but you cannot select a sketch entity. Here we will select all the entities we want to pattern. You may want to pre-select these entities before starting the linear sketch pattern. Uh, that makes it easier when selecting multiple sketch entities. We'll go ahead and select them individually. Here we will enter the distance between instances, uh, 3 inches. We will leave the number of instances sent to 2. Now we need to specify the Y direction. You'll notice the distance for the second direction is grayed out. Uh, this is because we haven't specified any additional instances. The uh, moment we specify more than one, you will see we can enter a distance between those instances. So we'll put three here. You can also enter an angle dimension here. Uh, by default, it has 90 degrees. Um, which makes the second direction perpendicular to the first. <coughs> now in the preview we can see blue lines uh, signifying the direction and yellow lines signifying the entities to be patterned. You can come in and dynamically change this by dragging like so or you can always just enter a numerical value. The option here will add a dimension to the generated entities signifying the distance between the instances. This will help fully define the sketch after it's patterned. The instances to skip pattern allows us to skip certain instances by selecting the handle. If everything looks good in the preview, we'll go ahead and accept the pattern. You can see you can see here that the dimensions were generated. Uh, to fully define the sketch, we will need to add a couple of in, uh, additional relationships. So we'll add a horizontal relationship here and a vertical one here. Now you can see the sketch is fully defined. Uh, you can go back and edit the linear sketch pattern by right-clicking on one of the entities and selecting Edit Linear Pattern. This brings you back to the same dialog box.